Welcome to my channel Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie and today we're here at Disney's Epcot to check out all the latest Disney merch. As usual, we will begin at the creation shop and see what's new in there. And last time we were here, we went to the Norway and France pavilion, but today we're gonna go to other countries, so stay tuned. They have the new Wakanda Forever Lounge Fly Backpack and look how intricate this design is. Oh my goodness. And then on the back, it's blue and it says Wakanda Forever. It is $85. Let's take a look on the inside. Okay, no, 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 no. I was expecting so much more on the inside and you give me a Marvel logo and the zip up jacket for $80 and just look at the mask on there. I love the contrast of the orange and the blue. This is the perfect Christmas mug. It's a Santa Mickey mug. It is not a humongous mug. Very photographic and it's only $25. I am a Little Mermaid fan, so I gasped so hard when I saw this ornament. It's a sketchbook ornament. These are usually like hand painted. It is $25 and it features Little Mermaid with Sebastian on, on her fin and flounder here. And she's wearing like this coral crown and it has a mirror. How cute is this? I remember seeing this on shopdisney.com. For the same price, we have a Baymax ornament and also Olaf on a snowflake. And for $23, this Minnie Mouse ornament inside a bell. And I think she's holding a mistletoe. And this Marie one inside of this stocking. And of course, we cannot miss a huge bow and a bonus pink bow in the bottom. $60, a Hanukkah reversible table runner. On one side, it's nice and embroidered, and on the other side, it's printed, and it says, Happy Hanukkah. So last time we showed you, this was at Hollywood Studios, this stocking, like a vintage style stocking featuring Mickey and Pluto, and now we have spotted the one with Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck. And if you didn't know, if you purchase it on shopdisney.com for like an additional $6, you can personalize it here and put a name. And by the way, any merch item that I show in this video that is also available on shopdisney.com, I will link down below in the description box so you can shop online as well. And this stocking is $35. <laughs> Another Color Me Courtney and Princess Tiana collaboration. We have this highlighter yellow hoodie. Really hard to say that together. And in the middle, we have the T for Princess Tiana with these rhinestones. And it, ha it, it feels of good quality, heavy material. And this here is $70. I'm showing this next to my face just so you can see how large the stocking is. Look at this, it's Groot and Rocket and Rocket's hat is embroidered, even the star, because remember, Groot is the Christmas tree. It says, you'll be merry in this thick embroidery in this like velour material. 
I love this so much. And this one here is $35 and deboss into this material they have the gardens of the galaxy logo and other elements on here i've showed you these baby pjs before and so you can match your baby they have the pajama pants here featuring marble characters with different color candy canes for 40 dollars and a spider-man holiday shirt for kids for 30 dollars and a snow globe ornament here of marble characters for $27. And just look at the little pieces of snow on there. It moves around. $25 we have this Star Wars mug with a lid and I love the illustration here of the gang and the best part of all is look at the lid it has Darth Vader up here how amazing is this and then the back here is says greatest in the galaxy for $40 we have this Darth Vader long sleeve t-shirt and greatest in the galaxy here and then on the sleeve it says Vader in the same cream color, we have this Greatest in the Galaxy baseball hat here for $30. cool ornaments we have this grogu the child rotating ornament here for 23 dollars and it has pieces of glitter a blue milk and cookie set and i thought the plate here was upside down but no he's upside down um, and it says up to snow good for the holidays we have the ewok ewoks are my favorite and then here we have this like little milk uh, bottle here and this is 30 dollars cute he's wearing a Santa hat we have a Dumbo and Pua Cuddly's plushes here for $40 There's a popcorn stand next to the creation shop and they're selling the Christmas tins full with popcorn. They are only $28 and I'm sure you guys have seen this on social media. They are, it is musical and that like design in the center rotates. The tree is up. It looks so amazing. We are inside the Germany Pavilion, specifically inside what is known as the German Christmas store. And it's quite fitting to be in here since it's the holiday season. And we're gonna check out the Christmas merch that they have in here. It is so amazing. They even have some Disney themed merchandise like this snow globe. It says Germany Pavilion. Now, I do not know any German. So if you guys are German, any of you, help me out. It says Epcot World Showcase and look how cute they're trading. I think it, Mickey is trading like a nutcracker. She's trading a pretzel and this is $50. It doesn't feel right if I at least try and I looked it up on Google Translate and it means Merry Christmas and I cannot even try to pronounce this so Google Translate Okay, so they have this ornament here. So cool. It has the Mickey icon for $25. This very cute wood crafted ornament. It is a mini Santa with a Christmas tree. It says here handcrafted in Germany since 1928. And this one here is $37 another merry christmas ornament for 25 dollars and on the inside mickey is showing off his beautiful nutcracker and look the tree has lights i wish the lights would turn on or am i asking for too much
This is the 50th anniversary stuffed teddy bear. He is $350. Yes, you heard right, $350. But it is a very well crafted toy. Now, Steiff is a German company uh, or toy makers. And usually what I've heard is that they're not really to play. They're more to display or to collect. They have these ginger cottages, which are wooden ornaments. And what's cool about them is that they have a hidden gingerman, at least one in each of the ornaments and little hidden secrets within. The box kind of tells you what you're looking for. And let's get an example on the price. Okay, these are $30. And I wonder this one, if it's bigger, how much it would be. This one is 30. Okay, they're all $30 each. And my favorite one is this one. Look how cute. Look at the little gingerman inside. There's this company here called Old World Christmas and they do these little ornaments here. These are the type of um, glass that if you have to be very careful, if not, they will shatter. But look at all the details. They have glitter in them, this metallic paint. And this one here is like a gingerbread house, but they have so many. They have lots of animals like this koala one. They have objects like this train all throughout the store. And this one specifically here is $22 for $35 each. We have the Mickey and Minnie plushes in their German attire. How cute are they? And they actually come from the Munich Disney store. I'm with my husband Emil today. Welcome back, guys. And today he is probably representing with his Bayern Munich t-shirt here. Or what is it? Like it's a, a soccer team. A soccer team it's shirt. The best soccer team in Germany. Okay. Well, he is a big soccer fanatic, by the way. I see a lot of people have been buying this today and this is the Merry Christmas uh, throw here, fleece throw and it has Mickey and Minnie exchanging the pretzel and the uh, nutcracker and this one here is $60. For $12, they have this milk chocolate advent calendar from the company called Confis Confissary Heidel. I probably said that wrong, but I love the overall vintage like Santa Claus look to this. I love it so much. There are so many pickles here. They're pickle ornaments. And look at this one. They're $20. These are the larger ones. It has a glittery Santa hat. And then we have this one here with like little bead embellishments for also $20. And if you want a smaller one, you can get it for $15 or you can get a $10 one, which is super duper mini. And if you ask yourself why the pickle ornament, well, I'm just gonna read what it says here because I also asked myself the same thing. It's called the tradition of the pickle ornament. According to German tradition, the pickle brings good luck and was the last ornament placed on the tree. On Christmas morning, the first child to find the gherkin was rewarded with an extra little gift by Saint Nick. This tradition encouraged the children to appreciate all the ornaments on the tree rather than hurrying to see what Saint Nick had left for them. I love nutcrackers and look at this nutcracker. Isn't it amazing? It's by this company called, I'm gonna try, Christian Ulbricht and it's handcrafted in germany since 1928 and look at it it has like this like fur that kind of like mimics his hair and there's even a tassel on his hat and the wood just feels so good polished like polished wood this is so nice now what you might not like is the price now it is a $250. I'm going to show you some limited edition ones. Before I go to the limited edition ones, I have to show you this one for the same price, $250 in this like cherry wood color. Oh my gosh, she has gingerbread men. I love gingerbread, anything gingerbread because they're just so cute and like little heart cookies on his hat. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Is a limited edition nutcracker he's wearing glasses like this little like kind of santa hat but it's plaid 
Look at the little pom-pom. He's holding like a little bird house with a little bird inside, also made out of wood. And he's also holding this basket here. Look, it even has like this polka dot mushroom. I love his like little plaid pants, his coat. And now let's look at the limited edition detail on the bottom. So it says he is 731 of 1000. And yes, he is $450. I found a Mickey Mouse pickle ornament and it's wearing a Santa hat. It is so cute. Instead of it being a glass ornament, it's much heavier. I don't know what material this is. And it does have like floss material right on the Santa hat. And he is only $25. Look at this holiday sweatshirt. In the middle, it says Munich, but up here, I don't know what that means, HB. It's probably a beer brand. And I can tell it's a holiday sweatshirt because of the snowflakes, but I see barrels, I see beer glasses, and this is $100. Okay, I found the tag for the brand name. And right now, I just noticed this. Look how cute, ML. Look at these, these are keychains. How much are these? $17, look at the dress. pavilion pyramid which was modeled after the Aztec temple of the feathered serpent and it is so cool in here it is decorated for Christmas let's take a look at all the merchandise inside the pyramid you will find a lot of handmade souvenirs which in Spanish is called artesanía it is very colorful and mirrors their culture now if you go and travel to South America and Central America you will find artesanía as well however each country has its own unique type of artesanía because the artesanía would mirror their culture. Wow, they sell these uh, mariachi hats or sombrero de charro. They're really well made. This one has like a velour material and I see sequins, thread all throughout here. Just look at the design. It is $60 and they have other colors and other designs. This one has silver and then they also have a red one down here and a variety of straw hats that say Echo in Mexico made in Mexico for only $25. These handmade bags here for $17. These handmade dolls are my absolute favorite and I'm gonna read what it means. They are only $25. They call her Lele, handmade in Mexico. These dolls are created by artisans of the state Querétaro, Mexico. The dresses are brightly colored, reminiscent of the traditional style that is proudly worn by the Masao was women. Lele means baby in Otomi, the language of Masawas. These dolls are a registered cultural icon of the state of Querétaro. Really nice. And this is the small version for $17. For $40, they have this Mickey and Friends fleece throw for the Mexico Pavilion. I see the three caballeros and like I said, Mickey and Friends. And look at my favorite part. It has a chihuahua, a chihuahua. They have these semitas ears and semitas, basically what it is is a sweet bread that they make and eat in Mexico and Central America that we know of. And those is from Honduras and they call this bread semitas as well. And it has this really cool, like colorful bow in the center with these transparent sequins. And this one here is $35. I think they also call them conchas or conchitas. If I'm wrong with any of the information I just said, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. They have these handmade hats, handmade, like hand painted hats. This one is pink, my favorite color, one of my favorite colors. And it's made in Mexico and look at the price, only $35. I don't think that's a bad price at all. They have so many designs and colors to choose from. For 
$20, you have these shoulder plushes. I didn't know these existed here in the parks. They are Alebrijes shoulder plushes, and Alebrijes are Oaxacan folk art, like mystical creatures. And usually they are made out of wood, hand carved. So no sculpture is the same because they're handmade. And look at all the bright colors. Obviously these are plushes, shoulder plushes, and they are $20 like I previously said, and they are so cute. This is what I was talking about. They have the alebrijes here, the wood carved art figures. Look at this one. It's so pretty. It's like a cactus, but it's $1,200. Hope you guys enjoyed this Epcot merchandise tour with me. And right now we're gonna go ride the Grand Fiesta tour. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps. And don't forget any merch item that I show in this video that is also available on shopdisney.com. I have linked down below in the description box for you guys. And don't forget any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Disney merch tours and fun. And I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon. Bye. Shit! 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 Shit!